Yes, that's the banner. I'm going to change it. But that is a, a clue to the su super secret project right there. And no, I'm not making a big penis on my <laughs> world. <laughs> Hello guys, it's Keith from KMA's Corner and how are you doing today? Welcome to episode number 36 of KMA Jams! And we are fishing! No, as a matter of fact, I was AFK fishing all night long in my tree hut of treeness. Okay, let's stop fishing for a second. Um, there's a reason why we started in this tree. There's a hint to what we're doing this episode. Let me put my good thing up there. Let me collect my st stuffages. Let's see what we got. Eh. What I really needed was lily pads to cover up some of my, um, some of my, uh, what's it called? Sugarcane farm walking places and stuff. And, um, okay. I will separate all this into these chests later. Let me get my gear again and we will go and I will show you exactly what we are doing today. I see you sneaking up to me. What are you doing sneaking up to me? Huh? Jerk face. Oh, and look at that. There must have been a thunderstorm fairly recently. Oop. Because I see a skelly horse over there. Let's go get him. Are you gonna explode? Have you already been detriggered? Oh, you have. You're just hanging out. How did that happen? Uh, I wouldn't have left the skelly horse out here. And AFK and overnight, while I slept, that guy wasn't there, and he should despawn. I don't know. I should go throw a saddle on him real quick. Oh, look at his friends back there. I see his friends. Skelly and Skeleton. Do I not have my arrows with me? Oh, I left my arrows in here. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go throw a, um, a saddle on him. Him. There's my arrows. I know I have a couple extra saddles. And I'm going to bring him back to my, my little stable that doesn't hold anything. Come here, buddy. Aww. I like how you wagged your tail when I put the saddle on you. So, um, what we are doing today, I started off in a tree and said that that is a hint of what is going on in the future here. My very first building, which is this weird thing with the blue dome on here, which I, or my, um, uh, fiance nickname R2D2, because it kind of looked like R2D2, then I needed some wood. So I decided, well, I'll make a wood farm. It was basically the second project I ever did on here. And it's a fairly big farm. But the problem is, I'll just dry, ride him over. The problem with this farm is that it hasn't been finished. I set up this front part with the two by two places to put your tree um, things. I have four of them set up here. Then I had this section over here where I was gonna do the one by one trees. And today is that day. We are at least gonna make this functional and um, do all the redstone for it. And basically what's gonna happen here is the trees are gonna be planted on let me get off you fella. Um, the trees are going to be planted on this dirt here. And when the trees are all grown, I'm going to hit a, <clears throat> a uh, button 
and all the dirt's gonna go down one. It's based on Slyn's farm, as this was based on a Slyn's farm. Uh, not the design, but the the aesthetics of it. And the same thing here. It's I'm not gonna copy his design, but I'm gonna copy the functionality of it from Slyn, who's the guy, by the way. If you don't know this, is uh, where I got the texture pack from the changes this is basically faithful 32 there's some extra things like the squiggly line that i'm pointing at that fire right now that squiggly line is something that slind used that i learned from watching slind and also these torches and a couple of other things which i don't really remember right now but um so basically my my uh texture pack is faithful 32 with some highlights from slind stuff and also um, some extra stuff I put in to make things uh, blue and colorful, like the XP bar is a rainbow. I kind of like that. I don't know. I just kind of like the brightness. So, basically, the trees will be planted on these upright things with the clay border around them. When the trees are done planting, I'm going to have a button somewhere over here. I don't know if I'm going to have to make a special thing for the button or if I can actually put it inside this t tower here and the button will lower all the all these blocks and with those all those blocks lowered I can easily be underneath the leaves and cut down all the trees and when all the trees are cut down um, there's gonna be another button I'll put probably over here and I'll hit and it will dispense water and what that water will do will take all the saplings and all the, the stuff from the leaves and stuff and push them into these canals. There's one canal over here and there's going to be another canal over here. And basically the canals are going to um, come down, I think probably to the center or at least to here. Or maybe I'll just do this all with um, hoppers. I don't know yet. Um, so the canal will push the stuff down and over here and I'll have a chess area set up. I kind of wish I added a couple of more spaces here. Maybe I'll do that before I start building this when I figure out the actual sizes of everything that I need. But that's going to be today's project. So basically that is it. I just need to figure out where I need to put the other um, row of water and with this row of water where I'm gonna put all this stuff so I can easily grab it um, and seeing that the entrance to this particular farm is gonna be from over here I kinda want it over here somewhere so and then I'm gonna have to maybe not this episode but in a future episode put a building around the smaller tree farm but first I want to make this functional then I'll worry about the building design and even though it's going to be attached to this building it's going to look nothing like this building other than the spires at the top I'm going to keep the little spires to the pointy stuff because I like pointy little buildings so like I said we're going to get some building stuff to put the show on the road so we need one two three four I'm just going to start off with four um, one two three four one two three four i'm gonna make one more thing of cracks no not crack stone stone brick okay we got four of those we're gonna grab one two three four running out of room we're gonna grab four cobble also hmm okay well we'll leave the four cobble down there for now um, these will be the basic building materials for the the uh, farm we got the andesite we got the stone bricks we got the mossy stone bricks and we got the crack stone bricks and I'm gonna add um, some what do you call it oh i'm flying flying clunk got stuck in the water da -da. Uh. <laughs> oh lovely so we got our vines we add them with some of these and we get the viney stone brick 
which is a nice, much better than mossy cobblestone when it comes to design purposes and stuff. So, what I'm going to do is show you what I'm going to do. Oh, gotta love flying in this game. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it. Hey guys, I am back. I've done a little bit of work to my tree farm. But first I wanted to talk about something very disgusting. Ew! Um, for those of you who uh, know or have been paying attention to me, I had surgery a little while ago and I've had some issues since the surgery and tomorrow they are going to figure out what is going on with me. So, that could be anything from uh, nothing <laughs> to the big C word, which we won't talk about. Because if I did, it would be very surprised. With all the tests I've had so far, they would have most likely found something. But the big C word is still out there. And I'll let you know if that is actually a thing. But it will take a couple of weeks if there is something weird going on. But for most other... Um, Things, my test tomorrow, I should know tomorrow exactly what's going on, unless it is that evil, 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 evil letter, which we won't talk about, because, you know, sometimes when you ignore things, they go away, <laughs> but most likely not, but anyways, so, um, yeah, the, the story that I'm going to tell you real quick is they are making me drink something that will make me um, exfoliate. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be friends with my bathroom tonight for a very long time. So there's not going to be any recording tomorrow morning because tomorrow morning I'm having the procedure and I'm going to be in love with the bathroom again for a very long time. And I'm very worried about taking this stuff because I don't like being in love with the bathroom. So yes, that's why it is a gross story. I just figured I should share that I'm going to be in love with my bathroom tonight. So I got my Kindle Fire nice and warmed up, charged up, ready to watch YouTube uh, videos on my throne while waiting for my procedures tomorrow. There's multiple procedures and I'm actually going to be put out under anesthesia for it. Um, so that's kind of worrying, but you know, thousands of people have this procedure almost daily, so... Uh, but I'm having all the procedures tomorrow combined, so uh, we can figure out what's going on with me and I can live my life again and stop missing work. It has allowed me to do some YouTube, but I haven't really been feeling that great, so my personality has been kind of bleh. So, without further ado, let me show you the work I've done on the tree factory. Thank you for letting me share <laughs> that very enlightening story about poop. So, I did the floor. <laughs> the same way I did uh, this building, which was basically put a different block in each one of these and just move along and move it up one, uh, you know, then place a block, move it up one, then place a block, move it up one, place a block, move it up one, and I have different blocks in my bar and how I wanted to do it. So it's basically the same block combo as over here, but I changed it up. I'm using sea lanterns now as my light source. Um, Maybe you can let me know whether or not I should change these into sea lanterns also. With all the glowstone here, but I think um, seeing that this is already made, and I've been looking at it for months. Um, I don't know when I started this world, so it could be longer than months. Um, I'm going to keep it as glowstone. So, I made the two trenches where the water is going to go. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'm going to... I don't know. I don't really know how I'm going to get the materials over here. Maybe I'll have the water sources come over, then you turn. But I don't like doing turns with water sources because it's kind of a pain in the ass. So I might just send all the products down here. I have two trenches here. And somehow get them back over here into a chest probably right there. And maybe over right there. Oh, I'm missing a block there. Look at this, and I got the block right there. <laughs> oh, I'm missing another block. Do I have that block on me? No. Yeah, it's not that big a deal. Hmm. 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 Don't let it bother you guys. Look at that. Uh-oh. I'm missing a block there. 
So, this is all done, and I added where the dispensers are going to go. And I put the dispensers, I haven't tested this out, so I may have to rework where I put the dispensers. And do I have a dispenser at the very end here? Alright, no, I don't. I mean, yes, I, I do, obviously. Duh. So, this basically, um, these dispensers will go out and push the saplings and stuff towards the, the things over here, and these dispensers will push it also towards over here. Um, Slind has signs across the whole top of this, um, so these water sources won't mess with the water down here. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna put all the water sources in test the water see if it messes up the stream and if it doesn't I'm not gonna put the signs in because the signs are frankly ugly they're ugly as sin so I have not put the um, pistons underneath these blocks yet so let me just show you quickly uh, also the underground and here's the underground and it's great because I have these lights so I don't really need to light it up but I did light it up in a couple places but this is where all the redstone is going to go and all the lines. So I'm all prepared to lay down the redstones. And then this is where the pistons are going to go. And I got to put a layer one block lower than this across the whole bottom here so I can place the pistons and get it set up so I can um, wire them up, make them so they work, and extend, and then unextend when I hit the button and bring. The dirt down so everything can flow properly so i'm still gonna do some more work on this and i will show you in a couple of days because i don't plan on recording tomorrow um my clip tomorrow because i'm gonna be predisposed let's say but uh the day after that maybe i will be recording some more and i can tell you all about it more poop talk okay maybe not but let me get to work and i will show you what's done when it's done or at least the wiring Hopefully, maybe. We'll see. I'll show you whatever I do. Huh? How about that? All right, guys, I'm back. Unfortunately, I was unable to do the redstone. Something came up in my life, um, and I knew it was coming up, but I figured I could still do uh, the redstone and stuff and have enough time. And unfortunately, I did not. Um, the, I had a medical procedure, and I didn't think it was going to make me feel so bad as it did. But I'm glad it's over, but unfortunately it has made me run out of time for making this tree farm. So in another episode, we will do the redstone on the tree farm and make the building around it and somehow incorporate it into this building. The um, building that I plan on for the smaller tree farm is um, going to be different than this one. So uh, somehow I'm going to have to have the two merge together into one tree farm. And I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. But, I did do a little bit of work um, outside of the tree farm, and let me show you that. But I also wanted to say, if you want to know what's going on, right after I record this, and this is going out on Monday, I'm, um, <clears throat> excuse me, recording an update video, kind of telling everybody what's going on with me, uh, cutting through the BS, and actually saying you know what's going on with me health wise so uh you'll see that video probably on saturday it's saturday morning right now and um so after i'm done with this i'm gonna do a little health update and tell you guys everything that's going on with me health wise don't worry everything is okay it's just uh, minor issues um but enough of that um i did do a little work in the nether um i dug the tunnel to the Podzil area, which also brought me to a new place that gives me a new block, which I have yet to use. And there it is. I love it, because you can change the light power. I might put, like, um, wood uh, trap doors over them, but uh, I made this new stable because I was sick of just leaving my horses here and then go through the portal then die in the portal and I kept on losing horses so I'm sick of losing horses even though they're skelly horses and you can get a ton of them I'm sick of losing them and you know you get a whatever with them so I um, made the tunnel to the new place uh, right there 
It's like another 250 blocks past that and then take a left and go another 600 blocks. So it's kind of far away. So I was able to load up some nether that has yet to be loaded in 1.10. So I have a huge plethora of these blocks. And the great thing about these blocks is that you can change the light level. So whatever um, light level is near this block, um, it will update and give that light level out. So let me show you real quick. So I just updated the light level here. If I take this torch away, it will still be that same brightness. But if I, let me make sure this is, but if I take it and now place it, it barely gives out any light whatsoever. And that's not really enough light. So let me, um, let me update that a little bit, make it a little brighter. Maybe a little bit brighter. I want these two sides to match brightness wise. <laughs> that's pretty close. And uh, this this particular one up there is the brightness. I put a torch on top of this fence and uh, really brighten that magna cube. What are these things called again? <laughs> magna blocks uh, to its fullest potential. And these were like partially lit. So if that's like a what is it? A Twelve on the light scale. This is these are probably eights. So it just kind of gave that moody feeling in there, and I kind of like that. And I also I didn't show you this, but I made um, banners to show you where the tunnels go to. I still have to make a few more banners to go this way, but obviously that's the blaze farm. Then I have um, my sky spawner, my desert where I get my sand. And um, this last one is kind of kooky. I had another version over here, but see, and I wanted to put torches on the edge of this uh, just to brighten up this room a little bit more. I took down the banner over there and it. I showed it to my daughter and she's got a sick mind like, daddy I guess because the banner looks like that yes that's the banner I'm gonna change it but that is a, a clue to the su super secret project right there and no I'm not making a big penis on my <laughs> world <laughs> oh boy I just did go there didn't I but anyway uh, that's it for this episode. Have a great day. Um, if you're wondering what's going on health-wise, Saturday, a couple of days ago, I released a video on saying, tell, telling you guys exactly what's going on and giving you updates for this series and my channel and what's going on in the future also. So it's not just a health update. It's an update for the channel and me. Kind of like a vlog almost. I'm just sitting down and talking to the camera. So... I haven't recorded it yet, so as, as I plan, I'm going to be sitting down and talking to the camera. But thank you for watching. It really does um, mean a lot to me that you guys are watching these episodes. These are going to be freaking cool. Um, so, have a great day. It's Keith from Gaming's Corner, and just have some fun in your life, okay? Have some fun. Peace.